Hello and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'll be reviewing Star Trek Strange New Worlds Episode 2. It's called Children of the Comet. I think it was a pretty great episode. Uh, the episode starts with Uhura um, going to a senior staff dinner uh, with Pike and Number One and Nurse Chapel um, and of course Spock. And uh, what Pike uh, is wondering or what he's kind of like investigating is, you know, he'll have these dinners and then they'll send the new cadets there and then he'll learn a little bit, a little bit about the cadets. Um, and so we see that Uhura uh, has a backstory that's tragic. Her parents died, and she basically joined Starfleet because she didn't know what else to do. Um, of course, she's there for the, the linguistics and communication, and it so happens that uh, there ends up being a comment that's headed towards a um, a comment with a structure on it that's headed towards a M-class planet, and that that comment, if it collides with the planet, it'll you know destroy all life on the planet. Um, so in order to understand the possible like markings there, they bring Uhura, Spock, and uh, Lorian, and uh, Kirk, not T James T. Kirk, but his brother, and they go to the planet, and uh, once they're there, they actually uh, realize that um, they're trapped, because the force field goes up and it can't close, uh, and simultaneously, um, this group of aliens called the Shepherd shepherds and they're shepherds because they uh, watch over the comets in the galaxy they uh, are telling Pike that if he doesn't if he does something to the comet if he tries to destroy it and earlier they had tried to move with photon torpedoes um, but if he tries to blow it up that there would be retaliation on their front and they had way more firepower than the Enterprise so when, what ends up happening is after a lot of encouragement Uhura you know starts figuring out that it's harmonics that cause the asteroid to, you know, change different, uh, or for different things to change on the asteroid. So they begin singing and are able to sing to lower, you know, the force field, and they get beamed back to the ship. Uh, now, what's interesting is the final plan that ends up working uh, for de dealing with the comet is they uh, they flew towards the comet when they were being pursued by the shepherds, and they turned off all their ship systems. And they sent out a shuttlecraft with a false signature with Spock in it. And they basically used the gravitational force between to bring the ship in, trying to bring the Enterprise in closer, but really it was Spock's shuttle that was going against it. And so they, the, the uh, gravitational force went through the at or comet and broke it off into pieces that wouldn't, that wouldn't destroy the planet. But also the chunk, one of the chunks was small enough to where when it burnt out, burned up in the atmosphere, it caused the planet to have life again and be more fertile for the development of that civilization. Um, and then the episode ends with a very interesting thing. Uhura basically went through the linguistics and the sound and music and discovered that the asteroid knew, uh, was trying to, com to communicate to the Enterprise that um, it, it was going to be okay, that the asteroid wasn't going to kill them. So it was a sentient being. And it kind of reminded me of the uh, crystalline entity from um, the original uh, or TNG, uh, except in this case, the entity that's flying through space is friendly. I guess you could think of Voyager and those like leeches, leech things that sucked on a Voyager too, where they didn't know if they were friendly or not. Um, that was a really weird episode. Um, but overall, it was a great episode in the sense of like Pike um, uh, growing as a character, kind of like he's not he's still conflicted about what the future means for him and how he it's making him adjust his life um but at the same time number one encouraged him saying like you can still have a good influence and your your future's not sure of course we know he dies but um unless they retcon that uh it's he's not going to be alive but he had you know and as a commander i liked in this episode it was less people help telling him what to do but he has more in a commander role there's more of like a clear chain of command that people were following and so I hope that continues later in the season. Um, as far as things they don't like, there was a couple um, phrases that were used that are more modern day terms that wouldn't be used in the future, uh, at least in Old Trek, that wouldn't have happened. Um, and I don't like how uh, Uhura is so, has such low self-confidence because I don't believe somebody could graduate Starfleet Academy if they basically didn't know what they were doing. And so that seems a little bit far-fetched to me. Um, not that that couldn't be a plot point that a cadet is, uh, or an ensign is um, nervous about their job. I mean, you even had that with Wesley and TNG, but I think they played up way too much in this, almost like it's a kid who needs encouragement rather than just like an adult who needs encouragement. 
So, with the stuff I don't like, it didn't. I don't think there was as much of it this episode. So I'd give this episode a solid eight out of ten, which I never thought I'd be saying about a new Trek show. Uh, I'd give it eight out of ten, and I. If the episodes continue going well and these reviews keep, you know, going well, I may be able to recommend this show by the end of it, which would be sweet because I like Star Trek and I, I, it's not like I want Trek to suck, but it's just sucked the last couple years with Discovery and with the movies. Um, but this show's been renewed for a second season, so um, I'll just keep reviewing it, letting you guys know if it's worth watching or not. Um, but so far, the first two episodes of the season have been pretty, uh, pretty fun. Um, and it's just interesting because it's got an old Trek feel as far as like a show, but then also you're kind of getting the modern, uh, uh, what is it called, standards as, as far as filming technology and set set design and stuff uh, wrapped up into it. So uh, again, remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more Star Trek reviews.